Dear brothers and sisters in Christ Jesus, today, the 3rd of January, Holy Mother the Church calls us to the memory of Saint Elias Chavara, Elias Kuriakos Chavara, a saint from India, the founder of the CMI congregation, someone who is known as father of educational institutions in India, someone who really lived a life of austerity and also of practical service to the poor. Father Kuria Kos was born on 10th February 1805, Kainakari, Kerala. Siro Malabar priest he was, together with fathers Thomas Palakal and Thomas Purkura, co-founded one of the largest Indian congregation for men religious, that is Carmelites of Mary Maclet. With the passing of fathers Palakal and Purkura, Father Kuriakos, who took the name Kuriakos Elias of the Holy Family, had his profession on obtaining canonical approval for his order in the year 1855, nurtured the fledging congregation and soon went on to open no less than six houses in Kerala, the first being in Mananam. Founding of seminaries, schools and home for the aged, training of catechumens, annual retreats for priests and laity, uh, setting up printing presses and production of spiritual catechetical and devotional literature soon followed. His book on the rubrics of the mass uh, has been a really important thing in the history of the church. Father Kuriakos also co-founded with the Carmelite missionary, Father Leopold Beccaro, two institutes for women, that is, Congregation of Mother of Carmel CMC Sisters and Congregation of Theresian Carmel CTC Sisters. In 1861, Bishop Thomas Rokos, who was sent by Chaldean uh, Patriarch to report on the condition of Syrian church in Malabar, pretending to hold papal authority, illicitly started exercising jurisdiction, which Father Kuriakos as Vicar Apostolic of Verapoli firmly resisted, thus turning the tide and winning back the parishes, Rokos beating her hasty retreat. Deeply devoted to Mary, Kuriakos was staunch in his prayer life and ever concerned about others, particularly the poor and those suffering from contagious diseases. His mortal remains initially laid to rest in Konamavu in, on his death 1871, were transferred to Mananam in 1889, beatified in 1986. He was canonized in the year 2014. The days that he lived he lived a life of noble action, a life of life filled with love for Christ. So dear brothers and sisters, someone who lived in India, someone who lived close to our place in Kerala, someone who is a saint now, means what to us? Means that we too can be saints. We just have to live and dedicate our lives to God. Amen.